Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the most blustery, wet, miserable autumn day. I really do feel like we are officially, officially in autumn now. Like I've got the autumn hair, we're wearing the autumnal dresses, the weather is feeling very autumnal. I just want to cozy up in a blanket all day long and I have been doing a bit more autumn shopping up. If you guys have been keeping up with all of, like the vlogs and the hauls lately, you'll know that one thing I'm really, really making a conscious effort in doing recently is kind of like upgrading my autumn winter wardrobe. And what I realised that was missing from my wardrobe was really like timeless, classic, not necessarily trend driven pieces, but pieces that I can bring out every single year in autumn. I know they're going to work. I know they're going to be great transitional pieces. I know they're really, really high quality and they're going to last me. So, I have been doing a bit of shopping at one of my all-time favourite retailers for all of the above. I have been doing a bit of shopping on Karen Millen. Now you guys will know Karen Millen is a brand that I absolutely adore. I recently actually went to their showroom to, see, to view some of the new autumn winter collections that are coming out and I literally fell in love with so many pieces and there were so many items where I was like, I feel like I could really do with like adding that into my wardrobe. I feel like that's something that's really gonna help upgrade my wardrobe, help kind of like fill gaps in my wardrobe and also just kind of like be really, really classic autumnal pieces that I can style up in so many different ways are gonna bring me well into winter and are gonna really, really last the test of time. Now you guys will all know my favourite phrase is getting your cost per wear out of your clothes and I feel like Karen Millen is one of those brands that I just always get my cost per wear out of all of the items because they're just like so well made and such high quality. I know that obviously Karen Millen is one of those brands where it's not exactly high street, it's not designer, I feel like it kind of falls in the like high end category and their price points I think are quite good in terms of they are investment items but they're not luxury designer like silly money they're just really really high quality items so i'm so excited to be adding all these pieces into my wardrobe now now of course we will be doing this as a try on haul so you will be able to see what all of the pieces look like on me i am just gonna do a little psa disclaimer before we start and let you know that i am actually having a bit of knee issues at the moment if you're not keeping up to date with the vlogs, if you're the kind of person that only follows along with the hauls, you might not know, but basically I have some really lovely, gorgeous, sexy strapping on my knee at the moment, which you will see in the cutaways. Unfortunately, it's just inevitable. I can't avoid it. I can't not have it on at the moment. So we're just gonna have to look past that in the cutaways, but hopefully it won't detract from the gorgeous items too much. But I feel like I've rambled on enough and I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot of pieces to get through today. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, and let's jump straight into the haul. Now I'm going to start with one of my favorite pieces from the haul and one of the pieces I was most excited to arrive. Now I have been really updating my leather jacket collection this autumn. I feel like leather jackets are something that like you just can't go wrong with. They're always so timeless, they're always so classic and having a few different shade ranges in your collection I think is actually a really great way to add a bit of a twist on quite a classic item. So up until this year, I only had a black one. I now have a white one, a dark brown one, and a caramel one. Now, I feel like this kind of caramel tan color is just such a me color. I'm sure a lot of you guys also adore this color because it's just so classic for autumn. It's just really stunning, like caramelly color. And I especially think with the like darker auburn hair, it looks really, really great. I'm so excited about it. I quite like this jacket because it's a little bit lighter than some of my other jackets and a little bit more kind of like styled up if that makes sense like I think the shape and the cut of this just looks a little bit more elevated than some of the other jackets in my collection which is great because it means that I can wear them for different things I think this will be a great leather jacket to wear with dresses like the dress that I have on today this is actually an old caramel number I'll see if it's still available and link it down below if you do want to shop it but I think this would be a great dress to style up with your autumnal dresses and a pair of chunky boots I think that would look so cool now, this really is the kind of biker jacket that you would style up with a dress I think it looks really cool it's like the perfect kind of crop to wear with dresses. I think it's really, really nice. Now, one thing I will say is it's actually 
quite undersized. I went for a 12 thinking it would be a bit oversized. And actually, I kind of wish I'd maybe gone up to a 14. I don't know. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Um, but I am maybe just used to my biker jackets just being a bit more, like, oversized, a bit OTT. Um, but if I want something that's a bit fitted, you know, I think this is really, really nicely fitted. And I really do love how it looks start up with the dress that I'm wearing. And one thing I really like, actually, is the sleeves are, like, a bit cropped, as you can see. So they're a bit more kind of, like styled which i think is really nice i love the silver hardware i think it looks really lovely i think this would also look nice done up as well if you wanted to wear it done up but um yeah i think this is a really really cute autumn winter edition i think this is a great jacket to add into your wardrobe and of course because it's caramel it's just the softest leather in the world i'm obsessed with it i think it's so so cute now, the next item you might be looking at thinking that's not the most seasonally appropriate item, and I kind of feel you, but one thing that I've definitely noticed this year is a huge increase in autumn weddings. I feel like because of COVID and how much it's like pushed people back, a lot of people that would normally be getting married in like May and June are getting married in September and October, and I am actually loving it. I'm loving it seeing how much like kind of wedding season has been like pushed into autumn, which is normally a quite a quiet season for weddings. So I saw this dress online and I just thought that is the perfect wedding guest dress. Now I know I have done a whole edit of wedding guest dresses if you do want to check that out, if you do have an upcoming wedding and you're not really sure what to wear, but I kind of wish that I had this for that edit because I feel like this is perfect. Number one, it has these ruffles, which is a very, very flattering look. If you're someone that maybe doesn't like your arms, doesn't like your boobs, this is like a very flattering silhouette. Number two, it's like a midi maxi length, which I find perfect for weddings. I don't like wearing short dresses to weddings personally. I don't find it the most like wearable thing for weddings. I think a longer dress looks so much classier. And number three, it is blue, which is a very, very safe colour to go for when it comes to a wedding. You're not too close for white, you're not too dark, you're not too bright. I just think blue is such a gorgeous colour. So if you do have an upcoming wedding coming up, I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this. I do believe it's currently reduced. It will be linked down below, of course, along with all of the sizes. I feel like I say this in almost every haul now, but if ever you want to know what size I picked up in something, it will be linked down below along with the item link so make sure to go and check that out but oh my goodness i'm just obsessed with this i literally i need to have an upcoming wedding now because i have the perfect wedding guest outfit and no wedding to wear it to <laughs> oh my word guys you need to go and buy this now. I'm actually surprised that it's not already sold out. I actually think, no shade to the model, but I think it looks better on than it does on the model. And I don't know if it's because the model was so tall and made it look a bit more casual. I don't know how, but they kind of styled it up a bit casually. Whereas I think on me, it looks a lot dressier and a lot more kind of like a wedding guest outfit. Do you know what I mean? Um, but lengthwise, it is stunning absolutely stunning it fits so so nicely i think with a little pair of heels just to kind of bring it off the ground just a little bit more would be perfect but if you're not a heels wearer or if you're like me and you can't really wear heels much at the moment um especially like tall stilettos or anything you could get away with flats or even like little espadrilles i think would look so so nice with this but the frills are stunning i'm absolutely obsessed with them they're like ott without being too much which i really really like about them i love how they fall on my sleeve i don't like the tops of my arms so i love it when dresses fall like that i think it's so so flattering now i am wearing a bra with this but i definitely think you could get away with not wearing one um just because there is so much kind of like going on over here so that's good news for some of you who don't like wearing bras um and i just love look how much it just like cinches you in at the waist it's absolutely gorgeous if you are going to a wedding or even if maybe you are like graduating this would be such a nice graduation dress oh my word i'm obsessed this is definitely staying in my wardrobe, but ready for the next wedding that I get invited to because I think this is probably my favourite wedding guest dress that I've ever, ever tried on. This is absolutely stunning and I would definitely recommend picking up, especially if it is still in the sale. And if I remember correctly, it is still in the sale. So I feel like, guys, you need to just pick this up now. Even if you don't have an upcoming wedding like me and you're just picking it up to keep it in your wardrobe. Because I honestly think there's nothing worse than when you have an upcoming wedding and you have nothing to wear and you're freaking out. There's nothing better than just having something in your wardrobe ready that you know is going to look amazing. Also, bonus thing for you, I managed to do it up myself at the back it's not too high up um, and i have no one here to help me so if you are attending a wedding and you're solo and you're really worried about a dress that you need someone to help you do it up 
another little another little pro to this dress is you can be a strong independent woman in it and do it up yourself <laughs> now this next item i feel like is so on brand for me and if there's anything that you should know about me it's that i believe in florals for autumn i feel like florals for autumn look so gorgeous and when they're done right they look amazing and this dress they have done right look how gorgeous this is it's the most stunning very kind of similar to what i'm wearing actually you can definitely tell it's like a very like karen millen style which i really like so i feel like if you know the brand you can kind of start to recognize some of their pieces and then it means if you see someone in public they'll be like oh that's karen millen and you're like yes it is indeed so it's made from this really really gorgeous like silk cotton which i find it a really really nice fabric because it is double lined so it's quite warm for autumn but it's still fairly breathable so you can layer this up with thermals underneath when we start to get into the really cool months or for now with a pair of chunky boots and a leather the jacket thrown over the top i think is absolutely perfect and i just love these really like overdone floors they're a bit oversized they're a bit ott but i just think it looks so so cool now this as actually a mini that's so quite nice that i've got like the midi version that i'm wearing now and then when i'm in the mood for a mini i've got this version as well so i think i just think this is so so beautiful i can totally imagine myself getting a lot of wear out of this i feel like this is just such like autumnal ellie outfit I managed to get away with the first few things without you guys seeing the knee strapping, but here we are in all of its glory, <laughs> looking so beautiful. Um, but let's ignore that and look at the dress because it is absolutely stunning. I'm so, so obsessed with it. It's so high quality. Like I love the caramel and silk cotton that they do because it's so breathable, but just such high quality and it feels so soft. Like it feels, it does feel really silky and it's such a bizarre concept having like silky cotton, but it does feel really, really silky. I love the length of it as well it's like a really really nice length let me kind of do that to try and show you the length a bit better it's a really nice length that comes just to my knee but if you wanted to you can kind of pull it up a little bit make the bodice a little bit like looser and pull up the length a little but I think it's a really great length if you're my height or taller it's going to be perfect on you I know a lot of you guys don't like mini dresses that are too mini and I think this is a really really great one if you're like a mum if you're a bit older I think it's really really flattering and elegant and it's not one that you have to like worry about flashing because it's not too short and and I love how the flowers look. I think they're so cute. So I really do think this is the perfect like autumnal dress. You can style it up with brown leather boots. I think when the weather gets a bit colder, I think that would look so cool. And maybe the brown leather jacket. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely expect to see a lot of this from me this autumn. Now this next item I know is gonna be a real winner. And I feel like so many of you guys are going to love this. And it is the most stunning jumpsuit. And the most exciting part about this jumpsuit is it's actually from the petite section. I feel like a lot of people don't know that Karen Millen does petite. I adore their petite section. They have some really, really gorgeous pieces on there. Chatting to the team. They've been telling me about how they're looking to expand it. They're looking to add loads more lines into the petite range, which excites me so, so much. So when I saw this jumpsuit, I was like, I need that in my life. It's like so 70s inspired with these kind of like gold tortoise buttons a bit like utility but like really really cool this is the kind of thing i can totally imagine on the catwalk with a pair of heeled boots <gasps> heeled cowboy boots and a fedora is that not just the coolest thing in the world i feel like if you want to look really cool together really elegant really look like you've made an effort when actually you've just thrown something on this is the item to go for i think if you're looking for workwear as well at the moment this is a really really gorgeous jumpsuit that you can definitely wear into the office if your offices are opening back up now i know i've been getting loads of messages from you guys about styling like workwear outfits some sort of like workwear inspired looks i think this is a great one for the office and such a gorgeous piece for autumn now I'm not going to lie, I feel like I need to have a little bit of a word with the Karen Millen styling team because their definition of petite, I think it's slightly different to my definition of petite. I know I am very petite, like on the scale of petite girls, you know, five foot is very petite, but I have had to style these up with some quite chunky heeled boots. They're not my biggest boots in the world, so they're not too bad, but I was kind of hoping not to have to wear boots with these. However, saying that, they do make my legs look phenomenal and they do make my legs look so tall so i'm kind of conflicted i'm like oh it looks amazing but i just wish that it was shorter like i wish that it was more petite like i feel like there's at least 
if I was like to go flat, there's at least four inches there. And I know 5'4 is like the top end of petite girls, um, but I would hope that they were a bit shorter. I did have this issue as well with my caramel and linen trousers, so I think that's a running theme with their petite section. They are still a bit long in the legs, so just something to note. However, as I say, I am aware that I am very petite on the petite scale. If you're maybe 5'2", 5'3", 5'4", I feel like these would be perfect on you, and I do love how they look. I feel very like Daphne from... Scooby-Doo, like if Daphne was to wear neutrals, I love it. I love it so much. It's very 70s, very cool. I think this just looks amazing. I've just cinched in the waist with the belt and done a little bow and I love how it looks. And I love how it like sits kind of like on your bum and around your waist. I find it very flattering. I've sometimes had issues in the past with these kind of boiler suits where there's been like a, a bit too tight here, but actually this is really nice and loose. It's got the pockets, which I think really, really helps with the styling. And I just think it's very flattering like I look so tall so yeah let me know your thoughts about this one guys I would love to hear what you have to say about it because I am rather conflicted I love it I just wish it was a tiny tiny bit shorter next up is a little top that I'm so excited to be adding into my evening wear wardrobe now you guys know how much I have been trying to like curate my evening wear wardrobe at the moment add in some really really classic timeless pieces I've got those rev the label dresses I've got a couple of like really nice trousers my wide leg trousers I absolutely adore and I've been looking for a few nice tops to add in so if you're looking for jeans and a nice top kind of tops this one is a few. It's this really, really cool, like, halter neck kind of detail going on here with these really gorgeous, like, gold buttons. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think this paired up with a pair of wide leg trousers would look gorgeous for, like, a really classic, elegant, pull-together evening look, whether that's drinks with the girls, whether you're going out for a meal, whether you're going on a date night. I feel like that would look so, so elegant. Not too, like, OTT. Like, I think it would still look really classic and understated. I absolutely adore caramel and tops for, like, jeans and a nice top. Tops that you can wear again and again. I feel like I could pair this with wide leg trousers. I could pair it with jeans. I could pair it with a skirt. There are so many different ways to wear this top, so I definitely think this one is worth investing in. Well, how gorgeous is this? I feel like this literally looks like it could be from, like, Balmain or something I love the gold buttons on the shoulders it's so pretty the cut is just gorgeous like they have really really put a lot of thought into this kind of like cut and the way that it's designed because it's so flattering here like it really accentuates your shoulders and it's so flattering here we get no rolls I know I've spoken about this a lot and how good does it look with the skirt I feel like this is such a perfect like evening out outfit just pair it with a pair of like little boots or something I'm so so in love with this top it is absolutely gorgeous next up we've got a little bit more of a casual item now if there's one trend that i've noticed so much recently it's the kind of like zip collared trend i've noticed so many brands doing like open collars peter pan collars zip ties i think it's a really really cool trend at the moment it's very comfy very casual but it's a great like design element just to kind of like elevate the outfit a little bit and make it look a little bit more pulled together i think it can be really really easy to wear these much more like simple basic comfy outfits and it looks just a little bit flat whereas i feel like these kind of like design features really do number one go to show how much thought caramel are put into their clothes and number two i think just elevate the look a little bit so i think this will be such a perfect top to style up with just like a skirt jeans even joggers if you want to go for like a really really casual look and i think this is such a gorgeous color this burgundy color is so a bit of me this autumn the colour of this top is just gorgeous. I can't even tell you. I know it's a little bit like shadowed, so it's a bit tricky to see it, but oh my word, it's stunning. It's like this perfect like wine red, like really dark maroony colour. It's so, so beautiful. I really love the like zip detail. I think it kind of makes like, it almost like a little bit more sporty. I really like that. And you can kind of like, you know, do it down as much as you want or do it up. Oh, can't do that one handed. Uh, do it up as much as you want. So if it gets like chilly, you can really like tie it around your neck and like cozy on in it. I like the fact that it's short sleeved as well because I think it makes it a bit more like autumnal and then you can layer it up more if you wanted to when the weather gets a bit colder. So it's sort of such a cute like ribbed jersey, really comfy but still very elevated tee. Next up to show you is a skirt that I am so excited to have added into my collection because it's just so me but it's like an elevated version of the kind of thing I wear all the time and it is this stunning pleated gold detail white skirt it's like an off-white color it's kind of like a 
it's not like a cream it's not like a white it's a very very difficult color to describe but it is stunning i think this color is actually very very flattering and a bit softer on your skin i think sometimes white can be a little bit stark and a little bit too much in autumn winter i know a lot of people don't like wearing white in autumn winter it's not a color i personally avoid but i do sometimes get what you mean when it's like it's just very bright and very like stark sometimes i think this is a great nod if you're wanting to wear a bit like lighter colors a bit more like lighter neutrals but you're not wanting to go for white this skirt is just stunning this button detail running down it genuinely looks bowman to me like it looks so designer-esque i absolutely adore it now if you're wondering about these these are actually just um <laughs> they're not a part of the skirt they're just to keep the buttons from like tarnishing because it did come with the hanger when it arrived so you'll be able to see what the skirt looks like on properly but i think this is something i'm gonna get so much wet out of in autumn winter okay just picture the skirt with like a chunky knit and a pair of brown knee-high boots and no knee strap <laughs> and you have got yourself an absolute winner this is gorgeous it's a little bit longer than i was expecting i mean obviously it's not from the petite section so i kind of knew it would be a bit long i was i wish it was maybe like a centimeter or two shorter but i know a lot of you guys don't like really really short minis um so i think this might be a really nice lengthy but i love the kind of like pleating with the like waistband and the gold details i think this gold running through it just makes it look so much more expensive than it is so absolutely in love with this i think this is such a gorgeous like winter skirt if you want to stay feminine this winter and you still want to look really like pulled together and girly i think this is so the skirt for you now if there's one styling item that i feel like is in everyone's wardrobe in autumn winter it's a pair of leather trousers and i've been trying to find the perfect pair of leather trousers for a little while now i have a couple of pairs from last year but in all honesty i just don't think they're quite the ones i'm thinking of selling them on because i just don't think they fit or flatter me in the best way possible and a pair that i've been looking for for a really really long time is ones that kind of look a bit more like jean-esque i think that's maybe the problem a lot of leather trousers don't have things like pockets on the back they don't have zips at the front and i find it a bit unflattering on my figure personally I find things that have a bit more of like a design feature to them are just a lot more flattering on me I don't know if it's the curviness I don't know if it's the shortness I'm not sure what it is but I definitely find this kind of look a lot more flattering and this color oh my word such a gorgeous autumn winter color I feel like I just want my entire wardrobe to be this kind of like tan caramelly color it's so so beautiful if you want to go all out as well I want to go for like a really cool girl outfit these start up with a leather jacket from the beginning of the video can you imagine? Can you just picture it? I think it looks so cool. I feel like you've got to be a bit brave to pull that off, but if you've got a bit more of like an edgier style than I have, I think that would look really, really cool. Now, obviously these aren't from the petite section. Unfortunately, they aren't doing leather trousers in the petite section at the moment, but I feel like they're the kind that I'd probably style up with boots, so I don't think it's gonna to matter too much that they're probably gonna be a bit too long on me. It was mainly the color and the fit of them that really, really attracted me to these trousers, so I'm so excited to try them on and add them into my autumn winter wardrobe. Now, what do we think of these trousers? I kind of love them. I really do. I know that they're a little bit wrinkly, like at the bottom, but I feel like with a pair of chunky boots, you can probably hide that. So I'm not worried. Like I kind of knew it was going to be like that. I will say one thing. It's definitely a lot more flattering, like at the top. I know it's really hard to see with the jumper. I'm like just trying to pull it up here. Um, they're a lot more flattering around here. I find other like leather trousers just haven't been quite as flattering and they like really accentuate this area. And especially on the bum, like, I've got quite a big bum. Um, and I find that when I don't have any design details to it, it just makes it look like even bigger than it is. Um, so I definitely think having the the pockets is very flattering. Um, I love the colour. The colour is absolutely gorgeous. Like really, really classic autumn colours. I think it looks so cute. I've just kind of pulled the jumper up. I know it looks a bit odd. I'll probably wear it just like down like that. I think that's much more flattering. But let me know your guys' thoughts about these. I think they are absolutely beautiful. I think I want to keep them, but I do want to hear your guys' thoughts first. I will say this, the leather is so soft and so high quality. So if that's anything to go off, go off how gorgeous this leather is. Now next up we have an item that is probably one of the most classic autumn winter items to have in your wardrobe and I can't believe 
I can't believe I didn't have this in my wardrobe already and that is a v-neck jumper now I absolutely adore this color it's again like a bit more of like an off-white I've definitely noticed that caramel and have stayed away from like stark whites recently they go for much more like muted tones a lot softer subtler colors which I think is great because it's so flattering on the skin I know I've spoken about this in my trends video, but this v-neck kind of detail is very, very in at the moment. I've noticed it loads in different designers, on different high street stores, and I think it's quite a flattering look. It's great for now in autumn, winter, when you want a little bit more, like, ventilation. You don't want something completely high roll necked. But you can layer it up when the weather gets a little bit colder. When we hit autumn, winter, you can put a roll neck underneath. You can put thermals underneath. I think it's so, so great. I absolutely adore this. It's just so simple and so understated. But then you have this gorgeous design feature on the sleeves. These gorgeous gold button cuffs, which I just think looks so, so expensive. So I think this is the kind of jumper that is quite simple and quite understated. But it's going to get a lot of wear in my wardrobe. I'm absolutely obsessed with this jumper. I feel like it's so beaut. I've just put it on kind of like loose with the trousers just so that you can see it without it being like tucked in or anything like that. But it's just so, so gorgeous. I love these design details on the sleeves. I think that's absolutely amazing. And I love the shape of it. I think it's just really nice and like a little bit loose, but a little bit kind of tighter fitted. It almost feels very like Ralph Lauren to me. I think especially start up with these leather trousers. I think it looks really like Ralph Lauren inspired. So I really, really like that about it and I think it's a really gorgeous classic jumper the kind of thing that you can bring out of your wardrobe every single autumn. Now if you follow me on Instagram there is one item that I've been wearing non-stop this autumn that you probably would have noticed and that is my black side slit skirt. Now I've been wanting to kind of upgrade it a little bit and add in something that's just a little more elevated a little more winter appropriate and I feel like I found the perfect item and it is this stunning leather a-line skirt i feel like a-line skirts are very very flattering they're a great way to add a bit more kind of like femininity into your wardrobe without it being too feminine like it's still very classy very pulled together and very autumn winter appropriate i think it's a great way if you're someone that likes to wear skirts to be able to still pull them off in autumn winter whether that's styling up with short boots knee-high boots tights i absolutely adore them i've actually started wearing some with loafers as well recently which i'm kind of loving so i really really love this skirt i think this is the kind of thing that you could dress up you could dress down you could start with trainers or you could start it with heels and like a shirt and wear it on a night out you could style this up with a halter neck top and a pair of like heeled boots for an evening look oh that would be cute so i think this is the kind of skirt that it's going to get a lot of wear in my wardrobe and it's going to be one of those items that i put in storage every summer and i take out every autumn and i just thank myself thank past ellie for buying it because it was a very good autumn winter wardrobe investment. Oh, I just love A-line skirts for autumn winter. I feel like they are just like the styling, styling skirt. <laughs> the item for autumn winter, they are so gorgeous and this leather one is absolutely stunning. I feel like Karen Millen can just never be faulted on their leather it's always such high quality it's so so gorgeous i really love this like zip detail because i think it actually like really elongates your legs and body makes you look a lot taller than you are i love the fact that it's got these little pockets as well and the length is actually really nice like it's not too short my other one my like little side slit one is definitely a lot shorter than this so if you like that kind of vibe but maybe it's a bit too short for you i would definitely recommend picking something up like this i feel like this is the kind of thing that can be styled up so many different ways with a top like this and maybe some like loafers a blazer you've got office wear with a black top and like some heels and a little bag you've got nightwear you could put some trainers on and make it very like day wear I feel like there's so many different ways that you can start these kinds of skirts so big big fan of them I think they're absolutely gorgeous and on to the last item guys this has been a haul and a half if you've got this far leave me the pink heart emoji so that i know that you got to the last item in this video because i know that i ramble on a lot about clothes i hope you guys don't mind me getting so excited chatting all about these new in pieces but the last thing i wanted to show you is another really classic item now one thing that i've been really wanting to do is update my kind of like t-shirt wardrobe whether that's with graphic tees or just plain tees and one thing that i noticed i didn't have my wardrobe was pink and i have been loving 
pink for autumn winter pink styled up with camel has just been my favorite color combo recently i think it looks so classy so cool it's such a like power dressing kind of combo i absolutely adore it so i think this maybe styled up with the camel trousers or the camel biker jacket i think it would look so so cool so i'm really excited to have added this into my wardrobe i would definitely recommend it checking out caramel and t-shirts if you are wanting to update your t-shirt collection because they're really really high quality they last so so long and they are super super soft such a cute top i absolutely love it i love that the sleeves are a bit longer because i think it makes it a bit more like autumnal and autumn winter appropriate which i really really like about it um it's such high quality the caramel and teas are just always made so so well so this is the kind of thing that i know isn't going to like ruin in the wash isn't going to bubble isn't going to ruin um so yeah big fan of it oh my goodness i feel like we can all agree that that was a whole and a half i did warn you that i picked up quite a few new pieces for my autumn winter wardrobe as i said at the start of the video i really just wanted to like upgrade my wardrobe update a few pieces and fill a few gaps i'd noticed that i'd been missing in my autumn winter wardrobe so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new around here i'd absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button you can come and join us for so much more fashion autumn content over here on my channel i have so much planned for the next few months guys i literally cannot wait for you guys to see what's in the pipeline and what is coming so please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new i'd absolutely love to have you back but i'm gonna leave this video here give you guys a bit of a break i will of course link everything down below in the description box along to just karen millen's new in section if you want to check in some of the new in pieces i would definitely recommend it but i will just warn you I apologise in advance to your bank accounts because there are so many pieces on there that you will want to pick up and you will not be able to resist because they're so pretty. <laughs> but I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!